Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel, and of course, as Microsoft is continuing its rollout of the um, Mail app into Outlook app, uh, which is um, happening, uh, first of all, there's a pop-up that shows up for a lot of people that are still using the Mail app, and it tells you Windows Mail and Calendar become, uh, becoming new Outlook for Windows and you recommend switching now and so on. You can continue or you can click not now. That's one of the first things that's happening. Uh, but eventually you will have no choice. Once again, if you're using the uh, mailing calendar, you will have to uh, switch. Now, one of the things that uh, is happening with uh, this app is that it's uh, I got a new icon. If you look at the loading icon here, just gonna show you here we go. This is new Outlook icon from the mail app basically and it is being tweaked and tweaked it's different from what it was uh, at the beginning uh, do i like it or not uh, you know it's something that i don't use a lot because i mostly use uh, the mail directly from the web uh, like gmail from the web and so on and actually it's even more than that i probably parse through my emails much more on my phone, which I find more convenient to deal with all my different email addresses and all the emails that come in. It's kind of easier on my phone than anything on Windows that I've had. Um, for those that are saying, well, it's missing certain things, it's missing integration or, you know, doesn't give notifications, it does give it time. It's still not yet released officially. And so it will have all of that. And I think whatever feature you're missing right now should be there at some point. Uh, it does accept for those that are asking multiple different email providers. You can have your Gmail in here if you want. So uh, give it time. Uh, we'll see what happens next. Um, but it's more of a interface for the Outlook, the, the web mail Outlook uh than than an app per se but um this is where they're pushing everything and uh trying to you know make it that everything will be the same everywhere and and you know um a lot of us still are in the phase of um you know thinking of old email um aggregators like like outlook express I personally think that there were two great email aggregators on Windows. Outlook Express honestly was great. Um, and when they actually moved on and there was this Windows Live Mail, I thought Windows Live Mail was actually very good also. These two were the top-notch emails, um, you know, providers of, of, of software that, that were pushed on Windows. And after that, it kind of degraded. Uh, and then Windows 10, you know, the unfinished Windows 10 mail app that couldn't accept pop mail, for example, and stuff like that. That's kind of weird. And um, it seems like Microsoft is still searching today what exactly to do with, you know, software that could be here for email on uh, Windows, uh, basically. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.